it's homebrew coming at you with a beer review that's our right, beer review and uh so but we do we this. got a great beer review today we hope we hope we have high hopes it is coming from rich again at rich's world beer tour and uh, jim saw this and you know he just lost it and uh, i think we all kind of lost it here it is it is long of tooth now i have been called long of tooth this is a collaboration brew from Surly Brewing Company out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and De Proof Brewery out of Long Christi, Hichte, Belgium. And I, I know I just butchered that, Hold and I apologize. On, right. And uh, we're just moving on. This, this was brewed on March 31st of 2011. Did Rich, did you age this for us? Uh, and it was uh, brewed by Surly's Todd. I probably said this wrong. I'm going to say hog, and uh, De Proof's Dirk Nods. Uh, it was inspired by old ales and Belgian chocolate, and they sat down and hammered out while drinking some beer, and they came up with a beer that only a Brett could produce. They said. So this leaves me quite curious. It has some Brett influences, I would assume. It's an old ale at 10% ABV, and we're going to get into this one right away. Kaboom! Splooshy. In my cup. Sploosh is the wrong word for doing oh. this. Oh. <laughs> 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 Woo! Wow, that was epic. If you only knew. Now we're going to get the pour. <laughs> wow, guys. I like this already. Christian doesn't have as much head as Jim and I. I that's don't have that's as normal. Much beer is but, what you're saying. Well, we got some more. We'll give you in here in a sec. What what kind of color do you got on this, guys? It's dark brownish red or reddish brown. Yeah, reddish brown Almost with a little orange like a, on the bottom. It has the color of like a deep Flanders. Yeah, really. you know, it's like a Flanders brown color, I think. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. It's I'm impressed that there's a little bit of a head going on on this. Yeah. So, and it looks like it's going to leave some lacing even, which yeah. is quite interesting that it's quite holding nice on lacing. a little bit. All right, let's uh let's jump in and get a nose. Sweetness! There, I get caramel and toffee yeah, both. Yeah. Big and time. And I'm wondering if I'm smelling a hint of the bread in the background, or if it's just yeah. because I know it's there. No, you are. You no, are I think it. you're right. I think you're there, but I get breadiness as well as right. bread. Right. Definitely big time. And, and the sweetness too. But there's a there's an interesting sweetness on this, and I, it's I'm not gonna go dark fruit. I'm gonna oh, say it's man. like. It's a little higher sweetness. It's like a medium sweetness. It's like, it's like I get raisins or I get like, a, I don't know, someplace between the plums and raisins or mm -hmm. something. It, it's like a candy. There's some kind of candy scent that I get. I, I know and I can't quite identify. And I gave it a little swirl and I get more of that uh, Flanders Brown kind of scent on it again. Yeah. But there's a lot of sweetness on it some nice maltiness on it, mm -hmm. some dark and medium fruits going on, some vanilla aspect going on. Like I said, that toffee, the it's maybe just, even brown sugar. Yeah. It's kind of like got a strong ale thing going on. It's kind it. of fruity. Sweet and fruity. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture of a lot of stuff. It's also like this really subtle, like, I don't know, earthy, like... English style old it. Old ale aged on toasted oak and cacao. Uh, That's what it is, toasted oak. All right, so I think I think uh, enough of this. Mm -hmm. Let's let's jump in, guys. So cheers. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. Cheers which to would, rich. This too. which would mean why it's got a little bit of a darker hue to it, the cacao. Right. Yeah. That is the most interesting taste. Wait till the aftertaste hits you. It's, oh, wow. I'm a fan. <laughs> it's perplexing to yeah. me. It is perplexing to me. It is, it's someplace between a Flanders red and an old ale and, and something sweeter like an English barley yeah. wine. It's almost going towards a porter. Oh, really? I don't get that. You get the cacao, like the chocolate in there. You get the little darker roasts. That makes sense. I, would, I wouldn't have said porter but necessarily, but I, I can see what you're saying, though. I do get the 10% ABV on it though. I, it's it's just not hidden to me. I, yeah, it, it's just not a surprise that it's 10% at all. Oddly, I 
really like this beer. It's oddly intriguing. There's this candy taste. I know it's some candy that I know. I want to say it reminds me. Maybe there's a banana esque taste. I think it reminds me a little bit. You have to be older like me and with these candy necklaces, and there were different flavors, and one of them was banana that oh, you yeah. chewed off the necklace. It, it tastes more than just toasted oak to me. I feel like I get a real earthiness to it, like mm. you took in the note, Jim. It's almost like there's a so, uh, flavor from the yeast or something, but yeah, I, I, I can't say I taste any like Brett influence. At, you you at know all. what this reminds me but. of is uh, the Downward Spiral, which was a Woodmere beer, but it's got the oak, um, the oak uh, chips, and it's got that kind of taste where it's kind of really oaky and gives it a little bit sweetness, yet more tan into it. Yeah, I think but there are definitely tannins in this. It's, but then it's got that chocolate in it, which makes it darker. And then you got like the the cacao is really subtle in it, though. For yeah, me, it's, it's really subtle, but it's almost like a milk chocolate subtle sweet. I do get I do get the yeast. I'm with you on the yeast because for me, this is some kind of a Belgian yeast. That's got to be where those banana candy comes in, along with a lot of sweetness. So I think there's just a lot of residual sugar in this beer. And which just changes the complexity of everything because there's so much sweetness to it. Probably. Folks, this is this is an interesting beer. This is for me, I think we all have agreed this is really unique. And and for me that just intrigues me all that much more. It does. And I, I think we're having fun with it. But it's an old ale. So when we go to rate it on style, old ales can be interesting because to me in some senses that can be a broad category. All right. Jim, put you on the spot. Style? Yeah. I'd say, I mean, I've got to go like 90. I think it's pretty damn good. Question. It's really confusing as an old L, so uh, I'm going to put in 87. I tend to think old ales can be confusing, and uh, I'm giving it a 91, probably the highest score of the group. But I think we all agree it's a fun beer. So we're going to come back now with overall. All right. Have you got an overall, Jim? Yeah. Um, I'm going up just a little bit. i got to say like a 93. I, the only thing that's weird is they say something about it having Brett in it. Mm -hmm. And I don't get much Brett uh, There's influence. There's a hint, though, I think. Maybe just a hint. But yeah. I'm, I'm happy about that because I think it's a great beer. So, yeah, 93. Yeah, the only reason I brought it down on style is because of the chocolate in it. Like, it hmm. kind of doesn't match the style. But overall, this is an excellent beer. I'm going to give it a 93 also. Hmm. Now, that's so interesting. I only went up one notch. I'm going 92. I think we're really very much in tune on this. But this is a beer I don't think I'd want to miss. To be really honest, this I'm rich. I can't thank you enough. This, oh, yeah. I am so glad to get yeah, to try this beer. Absolutely. I put it in a world class in terms of wanting to try it because of the uniqueness of this beer. It's it. This is a beer that if I saw it on the shelf and after having tasted it, I would want to buy multiples. Yeah, I'd buy it again. Mm. So, Yeah, it'd be just a fun beer to like have friends try. And yeah. Like, hey, mm -hmm. have you ever had something this crazy? A great discussion beer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No question. To my bitches. <laughs> So to all our bitches out there, here it is. It's the Long Tooth. It's a collaboration beer from Surly Brewing and De Proof Brewery. I think you gotta try this. You gotta do it. This is Kevin from Clements Homebrew. This is Christian. And Jim. We're saying life is too short. To kill a dog. And bark at the cat. But we'll do it next video. And thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Charleston Chew, the candy. It's like a chocolate candy with like some strawberry flavor in it. Wow, oh, I've never had this. What? I didn't like it, so. It was I never like ate a chocolatey slash like sugary, like light flavored candy. I have no idea, so. Uh, if you get some Charleston Chew, please send some to us, multiple flavors. Yeah. Comes in the normal grocery store aisle six B at your local in Fred Charleston, Meyer. North Carolina. So.
You Check it out. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. In North Carolina. <laughs> That's especially a great place to fuck yourself.